Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the developer behind Oka Software. We make game assets for Unity. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Together, a quick video showing how to integrate sound effects into your VFX uh, visual effect graph uh, graphs. So I have here a fireworks asset. So I'll just quickly play the effect before we get into you know actually showing how to set it up. So. We'll just show that effect, the firework goes up, it goes off, plays a sound, and you can play different sounds for different visual effects, or you can randomize it. So um, that's basically what we'll be making today. So I have a visual effect here, make it a little bigger. Um, so I've tied in, so basically the way this effect works is we spawn a rocket, and then um, that rocket has a particular lifetime. And after that lifetime expires, then we spawn like the sparkles and things like that. Um, this is a free asset on the Unity Asset Store. You can go download it now, play with it, check it out um, in, in practice. I'll include a link in the description below. And basically, we're just tying the spawner for an output event um, to the lifetime of that initial rocket. And so we're saying after a particular amount of time, after a particular delay, spawn an output event, which is called on received event, right? So we saved that. And basically, you just take this, drag it over, and create a spawn. Oops create a single burst, okay, you just create a spawn context, right? Inside the spawn context, you create a single burst, and then you'll drag and drop that. And so now you'll have this spawn event, and then from that, you can create an output event. So the naming of this output event is actually pretty important. If you have the name different, it won't work. Um, you just need to make sure that you match up your output events to the names that you include in the inspector. So basically we have this output event, so we save that, close it, and then we go over to the actual prefab itself. You can see on the prefab, I have this script that I wrote. It's called play firework audio. So this script actually inherits from something that's included in the visual effect graph utility functions called VFX output event abstract handler. And if you open that, you can see it's basically just like a handler that helps um, to help out with like getting those VFX graph events. So the default there is on received event right here. So we're just gonna keep that as the default on my side too. So you just keep this override pool and the audio source, which will be where the audio is actually playing from. And then you have a public override void of the on VFX output event, which takes in the VFX event attribute of event attribute. And then just check if the audio source is not null, then play it. So this basically will get triggered when um, on VFX output event is called, which is like um, when, and that will happen when um, this spawner triggers this output event, okay? So we'll close all that up. Um, and the last thing to know is that you will need some sort of audio source um, in your scene um, with an audio clip attached to it. So I went ahead and grabbed some, cut up some firework audio that I had and um, put that together in here and so you can download this all for free on the unity asset store or make your own whatever and um yeah so basically when i play this it'll play that audio that i was just showing and you just need to make sure the audio source is correct and the output event is also correct and if you want you can change the sound effect so for example right now it's playing sound effect number two if i change it to sound effect number three it'll play that instead the main challenge here is getting the timing right. So as you can see, the timing is not really 100% perfect, but um, it, it's a bit tricky considering that the you know audio itself is like has some front time to it, and then like the actual firework itself doesn't really have like the perfect timing either, and it's not exactly when the lifetime expires that you'll see the sparkles go off. So um, yeah, I uh, hope this is helpful, and uh, if you like it, you know definitely give a like, a subscribe, and, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.